welcome to my new unboxing. Today we have a geek fuel. Yeah, yeah, you can call me out right now. I didn't want to get another geek fuel. I really didn't. But the uh, things happen. If you remember, I got the. I think it was a January one. I got the January one because I wanted to test it out and didn't uh, cancel the subscription early enough and got the February one as well. Then the March box uh, claimed there was a Zelda item in there, which was. So I got the March box again and you can laugh again. I forget again to, sub uh, to cancel the subscription in time. So I ended up with a April box as well. Um, yeah. This is the first time the Geek Fuel, or I don't think it's the first time, but it's one of the rare times the Geek Fuel actually ended up on the customs. So, let's open it. I don't know what's inside, so, because like usual, I don't look inside it. And, yeah, let's just put this aside and check out what's inside. So, oh, yeah, I always forget this. Geek Fuel has this paper, this nice little paper that makes it easier for me to not look into the box while crapping out stuff. And I have to dig a bit for the t-shirt first, but experience is it's better to start with a t-shirt, so here we have the t-shirt. And it's a bit late because I've seen Civil War by now. But it's a Civil War t-shirt. Also a red rocker against the blue bomber. Why Captain America is a blue bomber, I don't know. It's it's not directly Lego, but it's certainly Lego inspired. And I think it's absolutely not my taste. And it has again the smash and crash and writing that we had on a Terminator shirt already. I'm, I'm thinking, I think the Terminator shirt was also in the Geek Fuel, so who knows. Yeah, I don't like this shirt. It's certainly not my taste. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, okay, we have a certific certificate of authenticity. Let's see what it is. Oh! The Doctor Who comic. Year two, that means it's Martha. Martha as companion. It's an exclusive variant cover, limited to 1500 pieces, which is pretty cool, I guess. I'm not a comic geek, so I don't know if this is really special. Um, but I will do what. If this is really something special and if it really makes a special and valuable item, I'm sorry to disappoint you, I will read it. <laughs> I will not just let it stick inside of here. I will definitely crack the seal open and read it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this is great. I hope it's not the only Doctor Who item, because that was at least um, my a saving grail that there was a Doctor Who item announced, so... Okay, we have some paper stuff, some funny... Okay, it's stickers, it seems. N no, it's... Oh, I hope you didn't see the code. A 
to copy on Steam. Ah, that's a Steam game. Hmm. This is a Steam game. It looks much like a shooter. If you have watched my loot gaming unboxing, you know I'm not a fan of shooters. So um, I will check this game out and will definitely hide the code because um, if I don't like this game, which is very, very probable right now, this will end up on my giveaway list. But I will put some text in here if I actually kept it because it's not a shooter. <laughs> and we have a Captain America Shield metallic sticker. It's a neat gimmick. But yeah. I don't collect stickers anymore. I collect them when I was in elementary school. <laughs> oh, who knows? I might start again with all these, these stickers that are around today. Okay, what else do we have? Ah, there's more Doctor Who. The Doctor travels through art history. Okay, this might be these um, master paintings that showed up, especially in the Moffat era. Not too much of a fan of them, but won't complain either. Yeah, it seems it's these are coasters. Yeah, they're coasters. That's actually pretty neat. So we have one Starry Night version here. Stick together, and this is really, really cool. I like the base out of it. I like the parodies of it. I have a T-shirt with Lugia, and a T-shirt with uh, the Red Line. Was it called the Red Line King in English? Um, it was the Roter Leuenkönig in German, Wind Waker. I'm talking about. So we have, yeah, the classic in the bar. And no, I don't think the the figures are meant to be something specific. So you could argue it may be Amy and Rory. Because hell, that they are tra actually trapped in New York. It was the biggest plot hole. No, the second biggest plot hole of this episode. The biggest plot hole was still that the Statue of Liberty is supposed to be an angel. But we have the police box behind the gothic pair. Um, not too disappointed because it's some other motives than we are used from the show. So that's certainly a plus. And I like coasters, I just don't change them. Regular pace, so I usually have the same ones <laughs> around the whole time. And um, let's see what else. Oh, this seems to be a Funko Pop. And it, okay, I got a second sticker. Good for trade. Um, yeah, it's a vinyl bobblehead. Uh, uh, like the um, Doctor Who bobblehead I got recently. Just with stormtroopers. Yeah, because I'm so much of a Star Wars fan. Yeah, doesn't blow me away. The Doctor Who one only interested me because it was tanned and it actually looked a bit cute and this one doesn't do it for me at all. Um, okay, we have some magazine left and I think that's it. Yep. The paperwork is left. That's everything that's left. We have the Geek View magazine and we have the page with all the stuff. Okay. Seems there would have been a purple variant as well. Um, yeah. Wouldn't have saved it for me. Our first uh, order purple hat. Um, so, Doctor Who. Coasters, the game. Oh, oh my god, I got lucky. Hey, I really got lucky. 
I got the exclusive variant. I'm one of 1,500 people who got the variant cover. This is actually amazing. I might take that back with uh, cracking up the seal then. I might. I'm not sure. This is actually, actually cool. Mm, I pick a side. Yeah, it's a win game. That's what the stickers are for. I don't know if I should get, should have gotten two Captain America stickers or if it was a Captain America and an Iron Man sticker supposed to be. I have no idea. I don't mind so. And yeah, it's a typical magazine. She talks a bit about the items and other stuff, which is neat. Oh, this is uh, no, that's just a gift guide. It's not what you can win if you're lucky. Um, let's see what it's... It's a strategic, strategic tactical combat game. Uh, so it might be my taste. It might be not turn-based tactical combat. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll check it out. Um, yeah. That's a geek fuel from April. And until they announce something that really blows me away, this will stay <laughs> the last geek fuel for now. So I'm actually pretty, pretty happy about the comic and the coasters and yeah, was it worth the box? Not for me, but um, it was a mistake to get this. Um, I didn't want it to actually, uh, but I'm actually, I'm at least happy with what I got and I'm pretty, pretty happy about the comic. Don't know if it, worth, if it is worth anything, but... Um, I'm pretty happy that I, that for once I'm within the few people who got the exclusive um, special variant item. That really makes me happy, <laughs> more than it should. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you want, I mentioned a giveaway game. The giveaway is still running. You can check it out here in this video. That's all explained. You can win one of several Steam games, so check it out if you want. I ho really hope you liked this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to contact me, you can do this down there in the comments. You can tweet me on Twitter. You can send me an email. If you want to check some of my other unboxings, you can do this here. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. There are several unboxings each month. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you again. See ya!